Hey everybody, I want to talk about original media discs today. Let's say you've got a master disc or an original game disc that still looks great and the label that's on it looks great. You want to keep your system as original as possible, but that disc no longer functions correctly. So what we're going to talk about here is how to repair and save that jacket while replacing the media inside of it. So one thing that I want to say before we get into the details of what I want to show you in this video is that I'm making an assumption that you have already attempted to bulk erase this disk, then reformat it and copy your backup back onto this disk. In a lot of cases, that will actually fix the problem that you're probably facing. But in other cases where the media is just starting to degrade or there's been some sort of physical damage to the disk, that's probably not going to help you. And that's where this procedure is going to come in handy. So here's part of the situation that I'm facing. The disc on the left here is the double density master that is equivalent to this disc here. But the thing is, even though they're supposed to have the same data on it, this disc has gone bad. And I want to keep a good master disc for this. To demonstrate what I'm talking about here, I have the double density disc in the B drive. So we'll do a directory of the B. And you'll see that it comes up saying that it has a bad sector. So what I need to do next is the exact thing that I'm making this video to show you. So the first thing you want to do is get a new blank floppy. The second thing you want to do is find yourself a razor blade. The third thing you want to do is take your disc out of the protective sleeve. And then, so I've just cut that off camera. And what you'll notice here now is that I can flip up this corner of the disc jacket. And when I do that, I can reach inside and grab the media and pull it out. And so this is the media that was generating the, uh, the bad sectors. Now repeat that same process on your new replacement disc. And so I've just done that off camera on this disc as well. Now, since this is our replacement media, I'm going to be a little bit more cautious with what's inside the disc sleeve. And this particular disc, it decided it was just going to tear that whole thing off. I'm glad that's not our replacement disc, or the disc that we're replacing the media in, I guess I should say. And so I've got that out. Take this guy. Open it up. Ah, my finger stuck. Let me just slide that guy in there. Voila. And then I'll pull my little flap back out of there. Boom. That's done. That now has new media in it. And then what I do next is come in here with some super glue. In this case, it's just a, your typical cyanoacrylate kind of super glue. So then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take that super glue, lift this flap back up and just put a small, tiny amount and rub it around where that plastic weld originally was. It doesn't need to be much. You don't want it to be a whole lot, but you definitely want it to make contact in the locations where the original spots were. So add some pressure to lock that back down. And it should take about 15 seconds or so for that to set. And that's it. I now have new media in an old disk. And I can format that and copy my data to it. Okay, so here I have the master disk that works, the master disk that we just replaced the uh, uh, media inside, and I'm going to boot the machine and exit out of the help menu. I'm going to put the original that works into the B drive, and you'll see that it has files on it, and then but the one that we swapped our media into the B drive and do the same thing. And just like last time, it's going to say that there's a problem. In this case, it says there's an unformatted diskette on drive B, not a bad sector. That's a good thing. And so I will need to format this disk. So on an Osborne, you run a program called copy, which seems unintuitive. And we say format the B drive. I'm going to just double check that that is the double density C basic M basic master disk that we just changed out. And then it's going to ask me what density, double density, and it will format. OK, 
Okay, and that's done. So we'll go ahead and exit out of the program. And now if I do a directory on B, it should say there are no files. And it does. And the last thing that I need to do is take this other master and copy the data to it, to the one that we just repaired. Oops, before I do that, I want to actually run pip, otherwise I won't be able to copy the data. Put the good master in the A drive, and I say that B equals A colon star dot star. And now it's copying all the data over to the master disk that we just rebuilt. So that's what I do whenever I have an original disc that the physical media no longer holds up due to time or physical damage. Uh, this way, you know, I can keep the original disc jacket, keep the original look and feel of things, but nobody knows that what's inside that jacket is not the original media. And that's how I repair an original disc whenever the physical media inside has failed. Hopefully this has been helpful for you. If you do it a different way, I'd love to hear how you do it down in the comments. If you like this video and found it helpful, please click the like button. If you want to see more, click subscribe. I put out videos more and more regularly as time goes on, and hopefully you'll enjoy all of them. <laughs> Until next time, y'all take care.